downtown. Come on, hey, wait a minute. Boom, near there. You ever know anybody named Moon? Moon? Yeah, just moon. Hey, look at they got bats, man. Huh? I'm gonna bring back a bat, man. Check it out. We're gonna have a bat. Take a bat. I'm gonna buy a bat, I think. What, what brand? You're gonna tell me the best. <laughs> There's only one brand here. Only one, Mark says. You know what it is? What is it? It's that sign over there. Home slugger. Home slugger. We're gonna be able to eat Did you there? shoot that? Huh? Shoot the moon. <laughs> Whoa! Home of the Bat Factory. Check this out. You can see in here, man. No, Mark. Is this a factory, Mark? Yeah. We're about to you know experience the uh, factory. We're through a bag. Look at this. Look at this, Dad. Look at this, man. We're going in there. How did you guys know, man? Kurt, you gotta shoot right here. Oh, you're looking up. Is that all wood? The big bat. Mark! Mark! What? Mark, I want I want a picture. No, I want you to take my picture in front of it. Oh, okay, let's go back outside. What's going on? Huh? Are they closed? I don't know they're closed. It's not on Sundays. Maybe. Get on that thing, man. Take a ride around Hooterville. <laughs> you want to? You want to, Mark? Come on, Mark. Come on, Mark. Let's get on the Hooterville ride. It's free. We could get a, we could get a free. See, I wanted to buy a cap, man. That's stupid people. Everything is dead right now. It's just dead. Rip it, rip it. I wanted to get a cap and I wanted to get a, a sweater. Look at that. Look at this. There's the there it is. See the Look little bit of bat for Hannah? Yeah. A little bat for Catherine. What about a would you get a ball? Do they make those here? Hosers. It's only bump, man. It's only bump. Glad I had that wide angle, man. This is the mighty Ohio River. You got it, I gotta take a leap. I'm gonna go in the bushes a little bit. Yeah, zoom in and get a nice shot of that. You know what that is over there? <laughs> now I'm gonna zoom in on the restaurant we're gonna eat at. Right over there. Let's eat there, Mark. Over at the at the Bluefish. Is that it over there? Yeah. And this is the. We can go down to these steamers and have them uh, meet us there for chow. Chowski. 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 Sun wants to come out. Perfect lighting condition, Mark. Did you get a nice nice shot of that over there, Kurt? You got a real steady hand. I know you do. <laughs> we can fall down there. Steady as a rock he goes. No chance. No. Easy. No. Easy. It, it, now it's hot. Girl, Perfect. Oh wow, is that cool? Can you see yourself? Yeah, sure can. Look at these kids. Mark, look at us. Let's walk up here. Look at that. Look at that. 
Park, that's so cool, man. Hey, that's Kirkified, man. That is Kirkified. Hey, you do stuff like that, don't you agree? Mark, you look so cool. Look at that. When you walk from over here to there. Mark, walk from over here to there. Now watch. Go, go, Mark. Go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, that is now, cool. Kirk, what I want you to do is... I'm going <laughs> to... Get a shot of me as I come in. Like okay. Oh. Okay. See? <laughs> you follow me in, follow me in like this. Ready? You ready? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I want to see that reflection, Kirk. <laughs> now turn the camera. I'm getting dizzy, Mark. Kirk, pizza! Papa John's pizza! Papa John's pizza! Pizza! Ooh, pizza! Papa John's pizza! Papa John's, what a big ass. Let's go with them, Kirk. Huh? Let's go with them. No. You think we can get in? We're just big kids. That's all we are. That sure smells good. Yeah. It's like to stay during the night. <laughs> Yeah, there's the roosters. I was getting dizzy on that last shot, Mark. Let's go down to the Galleria, Mark. Yeah. That's a reflection in your own mind. <laughs> hey, there's an ATM. ATM, ATM. Does uh, David have an ATM machine? Uh uh. It's a bank. No shooting inside. Climb tools. Ah, you should get your gallery right here, Kirk. You do? Get a Powerball and end it all. Want to, Mark? Yeah, we want to get a Powerball. Look at that. I'm not going to get a Powerball. Well, depends on where you buy it, too, Mark. Somebody win last time around? How many states is this Powerball for? Sit, can give a little nod, and then she turns and leaves. Let me see, let me see you in there. Make sure your toes are sort of touching your carpet. Come on, let me see you in there. Okay. Is that a No. No, that'll be fine. I don't mind her. Chop your hair off a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Is that, is that, uh... I like that. That looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Doing something fun. I don't mind it going a little hot or something. Uh, Clint, lean back a little bit. Okay. 
Can I lean forward the way you were a minute ago? Okay, so I guess you shouldn't ever lean that far forward. Just hang in there somewhere. Otherwise we'll be... Can I lean forward again? Yeah, we don't want him to do that, is that right? No, no okay. we don't. Not sure. Is that our highest point? I think you're up a little higher. Okay. So now you get one. Can we kill that clock? If that's Six oh one.
river, house and overlook the river. No, no, that's a nice story. Yeah, but did I move you, Kirk? What should it be? Just move this one. Here we go. Hold on, hold on. Take this to the river, house. Am I recording? Come on. Am I recording? I don't know. <laughs> it says red. Yeah, it says rack. Hey, take us to the river house. We're working us all at the house. And here's a sign of the things to come. But they don't understand we're starving our butts off and we come to eat the Chowski Run. Sons of bitches, sons of bitches. <laughs> sons of bitches, sons of bitches. <laughs> House on the river and get the food. So we get over looking Chowy and the Chusky's so small you can't see it anywhere on the plate. So you gotta look overseas. You look down the river and all you got to say is sons of bitches, sons of bitches. Sons of bitches, sons of bitches. It's a new song. I come up with a new song. <laughs> Right, look at the gazebo. Look at all the nice things. We can eat out here. No, we're eating inside. There's gnats out here. What? Gnats. Oh, they think that gnats are real hard up on them. But they have never felt a pie at first. <laughs> now I'm going to get a good just, shot. It's just extra protein. Yeah, you know. I need some. We're at the Overlook. It's a beautiful place. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Howdy. Oh, we're filming ourselves because we just were working on a long job. That right, Mark. Don't scare So there's no video? This is a little delft here. What is this? Here we go, guys. All right. <laughs> All right, we got the king table here. Oh, it's going to be on the evening news. And he came down from Bloomington just for this. Thank you so much. Enjoy your meal, everyone. Oh, yeah, so Very nice. Go Indiana. Thank you. Go okay. Indiana. This is kind of like our Landry's, which is a chain, by the way. So how was it? <laughs> Today wasn't bad. Had, had yesterday had not been so good. Do you know them too? Hey, you get you get over here right now. Get over here right now. This is a Hitchcock motion picture we're making. Has he ever met you? Has he ever hey, uh, Mark, oh, look that at that. Yes. yes. What are the odds? Oh, that's very strange. Everybody Jeter. knew. Meet Jeter. How you doing, okay. Meet <laughs> you. Big Jeter. Big Jeter. Big Jeter. 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 We went canoeing. See my wet shoes. Yeah, that's going to be Down in the Blue River and went canoeing. Uh -huh. How odd it is that you would be here tonight. We knowing. We passed you. We saw you outside. You two were having a little discussion. But this is Indiana. We're not even in Kentucky, right? And then we saw you loading up again. Yeah. Best stop. to avoid that. <laughs> well, we were on a bus. Oh, that's right. That's why we moved just to really mix it. That's little Jeter. Jeter. Hey. And that's big this Jeter. Sasha. Have anybody I haven't met her. This is from David. David. He's the one that's going to put us through all this insanity. That's well, right. Terry's and doing her share. Hunter Graham, uh, Hunter Graham. Hunter Jeter, and this is no, this is Hunter's mom, Joni. Hi, Joni Graham. Huh? We oh. moved. I'm sorry. We joined. Oh, oh. We, oh. we all know We're, each other. Oh. This is Kirk. He likes to point cameras. Yes. Well, we Kirk. And my last name is Hunter. We have Mark's going to be coming back, and his dog is named Hunter. Take us to the well, that means we had planned a canoe trip like some time ago. We, what time did you leave? Uh, oh, last night? You got about four? About that quarter after three. It's going to be like this always. It's just, you know. Yeah, we got about we all I've got, I got video of that. It is always. Oh, well. It's going to start going smoother. Not always like that. Actually, it will be always like that. But we knocked it out pretty quick. About eight hours. Well, nine hours. Oh, actually.
What? Sing what? Serenaders. <clears throat> Serenaders. You know what I'm talking about. You want me to right. sing a little I'm song of hell? Depends how tight you go. Boom shadow, boom shadow. I'm looking around and I see a boom shadow. It's, it's in our nice. shop for sure. Uh -huh. Should it should it be a similar? Oh. Evil removing kitty cats. Is he going to wear that devil's mask? He's going to have a flash frame of him wearing that devil's mask? That'd be cool. Boom, shadow, boom, shadow. And for anybody that's thinking about making it, you've got to haul all this crap with all these light stands and all that light from there. And a truck there. And a U haul there. And another truck. You need to have trucks. And you need all this crap. If you're ever thinking about making a freaking movie. I think they got balls in there. Right, for just guess, guess how much how much it weighs. Just guess. Uh, 800 pounds of wood. No, really. How much you think the whole thing weighs? 20 ton. Say it in pounds. In terms of pounds. Pounds. 8,000 pounds. 68,000 pounds. Shoot that. Thing. Wow. Shoot the good bird together. Isn't that amazing? Signature oh. bat. I'm gonna get a full size bat, Mark. I think I'm gonna get a full size real meal deal bat. I want to get a real bat, man. I wonder if it has Joe. Joe, man. Everybody's got their name. Okay. <laughs> Dizzy D. I don't know any of these people, man. Take a couple of swings on it, Mark. Check it out, man. Check it out. We can't swing these. Yes, you can. You're supposed I might, to. I might hit something. I'm not going to hit nothing. Okay, well then hold hold the camera and I'll do it. Okay. You get me swinging. This is a bad thing. Am I recording? Hmm? Just take your best pose. This is bad. Whoa! Oh, okay. Kirk, watch out, Kirk. Look out there. See, see, I was afraid of that. 
nice. They look pretty good with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he got it. Where are we at today, Kirk? We're at the Louisville Slugger Museum in Louisville, downtown Louisville. How much does that bat outside weigh? 68,000 pounds and more. It's impossible. Let's see if we can find out the, uh, the derby, man. Look at that one, cute girl. Hmm? Can you hold this? I gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. I gotta take a shit. Time does the tour start? Tour starts very soon. Where? Over there. Big factory gloves. This is a glove. Louisville Slugger Museum. Big ball cannon. Tested durability of the H and B bats. I'm gonna come in here to the batting cage. Right? Test fire on this baby. Watch this. Here it comes. It's gonna fire off. Do that again, Kurt. Here it comes. It's got to test that wood. Hold on. Here it comes. Boy, we can slow that baby down. Hold on. Once again. Maybe I should shoot it at the speed shooter. Wow! <laughs> IMAX? No, a little video. Sort of. Right as in. Jackie Robinson. That's probably Brand Tricky right there. Jerry. Mark, you gonna run around the bases, man? Hey, you run quick on video Hold on a second, hold on. It's rolling, Mark. I know, but I wanna I wanna use the the window. Hey, he's a switch hitter, Mark. I I hit him like this, Mark. <laughs> City. All right, Kirk. Come I'm on. Over here, Mark. Here he goes. Here he goes. I'm gonna run there. And here's the. I'm gonna run all the way around. Right. right. I'm gonna follow you. Okay. Here it is. And a pitch. Yeah. He comes in all the way out. <laughs> slide, slide, slide. I go slide on turf, man. <laughs> This is great, man. Look at this. This is the outfield, Mark. The Slugger Boy. It's great, isn't it? Where's my wallet? This camera's wonderful, Kurt. It takes beautiful pictures. Look at this, man. Check this out. Put a low light camera. I do one, man. Check it out. Listen to it, Mark. You can listen to voices on this. Hold audio one next to the ear and press a button. Do we need to move on? Yes, we do, Kirk. Huh? We need to go to Where'd the museum go? now. I want to check just this. No. Man. Check this out. Hey, let's roll this. They use a lot of them. Some go through 60 or 70 bats in a season. My type cop. Once he used a single Louisville slugger for two full seasons. Wow. That's nothing. There was this player named Joe Sewell. He was a teammate of Babe Ruth. And he used the same man for 14 years. 
14 years Well, every time that. Orlando Cepeda would get a hit, he'd give us a battery. Let's go look at the museum, Kurt. Huh? Let's go look at the museum. Here. Start. This is where they get the wood, man. I want to know. The making of a Louisville Slugger baseball bat begins in the forests of Pennsylvania and upstate New York. A forester cruises the timber in search of suitable northern white ash trees. White These ash. 60 to 80 year old trees will measure approximately 16 inches in diameter. That's enough timber to make about 60 baseball bats. 60. When the forester finds a tall straight tree that size, it's marked with spray paint to identify it to the log cutter. The log cutter is White ash, Mark. White ash. So it won't damage other trees. First, he cuts a notch into the base of the tree. The opening of the notch points in the direction the tree will fall. Next, he cuts into the opposite side of the tree and inserts a small metal wedge. This will prevent the tree from falling over. With a wedge in place, the monster starts. Cool. So much the bat weighs.
What is that? It's a uh, the dairy swing churn. Then you've come to the right place. It's a beauty, isn't it? That's 42 ounces of white ash, just about ready for the ball field. It looks like that first bet we made for Pete Browning a few years back. It's prime timber. Need to go back to Broadway, is that what it was? Watch it, Kurt, I'm taking off. It's a little red beetle. Downtown Louisville.
size. Wow. Wow. Look at wow. the size of that. You can see the museum at least. I wouldn't close the museum. You think? Mm -hmm. I don't hear the roar of the crowd. The horses. Great, Mark. I'd like to get y'all a great shot of all the Derby winners together. We have a list of them over here. You can watch here? What's that? I don't know what that is exactly. Also, finish off with one of our Derby winners on the side. It's 
doing our first derby. The pick up that I'm talking about are triple crown winners over here. How about Secretariat? Secretariat, actually, they found how it is. So this is, oh, I see, the winter circle. Go raise this rail up, walk the horse in here. I don't like to say horse. What, what do you call them? Well, when they start out, when they're born, they'll be a suckling. After they're born, they'll be a suckling, and then they're going to be a wingling, weanling, and then a yearling, and then a two, three, four, five-year-old. Oh, I see. They go by year, filling, year old. Call them a culture filly at that time, and then, uh, Thoroughbred, Thoroughbred. Or stallion, or gelding. Gelding. Okay, you all have geldings where they don't have any more babies, they take all the fun out of it. <laughs> They'll raise this rail up, walk the horse in, have the jockey aboard, take a picture with the owner, the trainer, anybody who's sponsoring a race wants to be up in here. Not anybody wants to be up in here, but anybody they want up in the, with their party. But on Derby Day, we have one winter circle, and that's for the Derby winners, right over in front of the little white building there. We'll have a horseshoe shape full of flowers in front of there. Right now it's just a little hard to see with the canopies laying in front of it, but hanging in front of it. But uh, it's a beautiful spot. For those of you who've seen the movie, or those of you who will see the movie, you'll see all the excitement and chaos and commotion that's going on out here during Derby. We have the little building there on the platform, all the owners, trainers, all them will stand up there and get their picture made. And then in the middle of you all, behind that little green wrought iron fence, the infield I was talking about where everybody goes for their party. Have three tunnels to get them in there. Have one about midway down the track there, one on each end. We'll take them underneath the tunnel and bring them back out there in the middle. Post approximately 90 to 100,000 people. They might see a horse's ear go by. You know, now they do have screens out there for them, so they'll have the big TV monitors they can watch it on. But years ago, you know, I always say that we come over here and taste a little bit too much Kentucky bourbon. We had a couple of young fellows from the college out here, and Terry Miner is one of our uh, reporters here in Louisville. He's out there interviewing him. He said, you know, y'all having a great time? He said, oh, we're having a great time. The weather's beautiful. The women look good. We just have one complaint. He said, what's that? They said, well, we haven't seen a race car go by all day. <laughs> we kind of forgot where they were at. <laughs> Get a little bit too much excitement going. On the far side, we have our barn area. We have 48 barns over there. They have no number 13, a little superstition going on in racing. But 1,440 horses. Right now, here they're pretty full. And our track is one mile oval. So in order to run the derby race at a mile and a quarter, we start out down there at the red and white quarter post. We'll pull the starting gate out in front of there. That's actually called the home stretch, or the last turn of the race. They'll start out there and the horse will take off. And as they make one complete circle, come down and hit this finish line with the white post with the gold ball on it is they'll take them their mile and a quarter race. It normally takes about two minutes. And if you watch the race this year, Sima Narcos was the second Porta Derby winner to come in under two minutes. And they also have the turf course on the inside. That's why you see two finish lines. The turf course is called the Matt Wynn 7th, 8th of a mile turf course. It's sitting on this side. 48,000. Start out way, way down the bleachers there. About $60 to see, I believe. Come down the higher, down the higher they get. Raising for about five cents. Grandstand. 
original twin spires and all. They've been here since 1895. The track was first built in 1875, but the grandstand was first on the other side. They were like always having the sun right in their eyes during racing and downhill from the barns, so it did make for a fun, smelly day. Finally, 20 years later, they moved us on this side, and they've been here ever since. Anytime you see Churchill Downs' name, you'll see those twin spires. Weighed 126 on a thoroughbred, 121 on a filly. They put lead weights in their saddles. And years and years ago, before we had all this modern technology, they started finding all these little lead weights laying in the bushes and around the bike stretch. They cut onto that old idea. Where's the projection system? It's coming from behind. Is it projector? Yeah, it's all rear. My knees are too tough. Yeah. Exercise rider, trainer. I couldn't do it, Mark. Uh, I can't ride a horse for no, one minute like that. Amazing, isn't it? Is that a horse peel? Making a mess, a less, making a meal last. That's the diet of a one bean. Jockey is an athlete, no doubt about it. Gallop. Running. Moisture gauge. As footprints. Look at the footprints in the ground here. Incredible, Mark. Here's the little model. Look at this, man. Food. The horseshoes. Two minute mile, man. Look at the little horses in the stable. Thank you. Life on the farm. And then to the downs. Incredible. The old run. Triple crown. Belmont Park, Preakness, Kentucky Derby.
and all the derby names. Go Virginia. Horse in here. You get on the horse here. It's incredible. That's the. There's the trophies.